to my patients at Medmark Amherst. Today ends the American Society of Addiction Medicine's National Addiction Treatment Week, and the theme of today is gratitude. As some of you may know, I have a media company that has a bunch of podcasts, and we're launching a Gratitude in Medicine series on our show Thank You Notes, which is hosted by anesthesiologist Dr. Travis McVeigh. He invites guests to read a thank you note on the show uh, to someone in their life, which serves as the basis of a conversation between the two. The show is all about encouraging the practice of gratitude. We know gratitude is good for our mental health. It's good for recovery. And frankly, none of us do it enough. So for all these reasons, here goes. I started at Medmark in May 2020 when we first opened. I had always been interested in mental health and got along well with people suffering from addiction. However, as a doctor, once you're trained in a specialty, it is nearly impossible to get trained in and qualified to practice in another specialty. However, addiction medicine is a young specialty and there is a way to become board certified without having to go back to a training program, at least until 2025. So when I got out of the military in 2017, I had been looking for a way to gain clinical experience treating addiction, and that's how I first got involved in our community. Specifically, treating people with opioid use disorder, as we like to call it now, was incredibly eye-opening to me. I had been a bit burned out by years of practicing OBGYN in the military. When I began at our clinic, you all reignited in me my love for being a doctor. You helped change my worldview and reveal to me a whole world of suffering that exists in so many of our communities and families, but which our society, and sadly, many within our healthcare system, like to pretend doesn't exist and often make worse through the way they treat patients with this particular disease. You awakened a passion in me for justice, and a desire to wield my influence and role as a doctor to help change the narrative on addiction and help change the way patients with addiction are treated within our healthcare system. I would not be board certified in addiction medicine today if it weren't for you, and I do not think I would have rediscovered my love for practicing the art of medicine without your help. I've been incredibly saddened by the stories of loss you've told me, the stories of how you've been treated in various healthcare contexts, by those who forgot that it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But on a happier note, I've been deeply moved by the strength, resilience, and commitment you have to recovery. It takes a lot of courage to say, I have a problem with fentanyl and to walk through our clinic doors. And it takes strength to keep showing up each day. Or coming back, if you left the treatment program for whatever reason, it takes courage to admit to yourself when you've had a lapse. And I hope we've created an environment where you can share such slips or difficulties without fear of being negatively judged or shamed. Your dedication to reclaiming your lives and seeking a better, healthier future has not only inspired me, but has profoundly changed the way I view the world around me. Witnessing your daily battles, successes, and even setbacks has reshaped my understanding of addiction and in many ways redefined the theme of my life's work. I am genuinely inspired by what each of you has been able to achieve. Recovery is not a linear process, and yet, your commitment in the face of adversity is a testament to the strength of the human spirit. You remind me daily of the power of hope, resilience, and determination. Thank you for allowing me to be a small part of your journey. I am better, wiser, and more compassionate because of it. With my utmost respect and gratitude, Beeman. Yes, check out Ars Longa Media's Addiction Recovery Project, where we're hoping to extend the message of National Addiction Treatment Week, Treat Addiction, Save Lives, to more people through the power of education, story, music, podcasting, and social media.